Howdy, it's Nicole from Enlightened Energy. I was just going to do a quick collective reading and the th first three cards that fell out, I was like, I need to record this. I looked down the counter, it said 11, so I'm right on path. Obviously, I need to record this because, I mean, this is just... <sighs> It's so mind-blowing I have to catch it on camera, right? Because otherwise you would never believe me if I told you this, right? Because, <clears throat> I mean, who's going to believe me that these three cards fell out? First one is your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. And this is a collective reading, but for each, it, for each person, there's something to take out of this reading. It may not be the whole thing, but it may be one little thing. For me, what I take out of this is my north node is in Capricorn. New moon is a brand new beginning, and my hard work is paying off. That's why I took that one, that I'm stepping into my north node. <clears throat> and that could mean something to a Capricorn. That could mean something that to you that maybe all the hard work that you're putting in that you don't think is paying off is paying off. And Capricorn is just the strength that you need to get her done. I'm gonna put this over here. Then the next one that came out. So we have a new moon, and now we have a full moon but we have a full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse, boom, look at that baby. It looks like the, the moon and the sun here lately with all the smoke. So we have a full moon, a new moon, and guess what the next card was? <clears throat> new moon eclipse. Expect powerful changes. <laughs> so you have two new moons and a full moon eclipse and a new moon eclipse. Are you kidding me? I didn't even, I just got, I just got that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we have a new moon, full moon eclipse, and then a new moon eclipse. So I'm really excited to see what the rest of the reading is, is going to be about. So here we go. I've already um, shuffled them. I might shuffle them again, just so you know, I'm shuffling them. I'm an intuitive reader, and so I just go on feel whatever feels good. I don't do anything the same. Everything is always different, so I take no matter what, like this one just popped out. New moon in Leo. Confidence is your key. Be confident, because if you're not confident, guess what? What happens with the law of attraction? Law of attraction states, well, I guess you're not ready, so we're not gonna give you those blessings. You got to be confident. Boom! Three new moons, a new moon eclipse, and a full moon eclipse. Are you kidding me right now? I just can't wait to even see. This one's like sliding around. Let's see what this one is. <laughs> Another one. Are you kidding me right now? See, this is why I have to catch this on camera. I feel like the magician, right? We have the new moon in Leo, and then we have the full moon in Leo. So we have confidence is your key, but do not let pride get in your way, which means... What does that mean? What do you need to get rid of? Your pride, things that scare you. I can't do that because what if somebody judges me? What if, what if people think of me this way or what if people think of me that way? I've unleashed, I don't know how many videos in the last week that are of my true authentic self and I would never do before, but I'm finally doing. And I'm releasing all the pride thinking that people are gonna judge me strangely when I have a ton of knowledge and I can help so many people. I've, I've stepped in my own way so many times and people have gotten hurt because I've not spoken up. So, you know what? I don't care if people don't like my voice anymore because, you know what? My voice needs to be heard. There are people that need to hear my voice. So, you know what? I'm going to take this one. If you claim this, click like, share, subscribe, because here we never do the same thing. It's all different all the time. Let's get one more, shall we? Let's just take the bottom of the deck. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus. So another full moon is what you need to release. So what practicality plans do you need to put into motion to get your dreams into fruition? So what do you need to release? And then what do you need to, uh, to do to make that a practical plan? Are the things that you need to do to put those plans into action, then that's what you need to do. That's, what's, that's what your guides are saying right there. Okay, let's see what the bottom of the deck is. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal move. Cardinal moon, I apologize. I love that. It looks like what the moon looks like right now. So there's another 
beautiful moon. Let's see what the top of the deck is. Ah, yes. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So there's that North Node. That's what I was thinking over there on that one. So we have North Node, be bold and make the first move. So step into your North Node, make the first move, put your plans into action, release everything that's holding you back because you got some good stuff coming in. Whew, let me tell you that. Wow, I'm just gonna put that right there. It has that. I think we can see that. Now, let's get... I'm just gonna shuffle these right here so that way. And I just go on whatever feels good like that one just fell out, so I'm just gonna take that one. Will, number 13. Oh, I have been getting the number 13. I don't know how many 13s I got yesterday, but 13's my lucky number. Having the will. Having the will to go through the cycles of death and rebirth, to rebirth yourself into a brand new being and not caring that you like to wear this kind of stuff and it's different. <laughs> you know, that's kind of how I see it, having the will, the strength to go through that cycles of the death and rebirth. I'm gonna put that right underneath your hard work is paying off. So all the hard work you're, you're doing for going through that death and rebirth is gonna pay off. So let's, let's um, shuffle again, let's see what we get. Okay, I got three cards here, so let's see what these are. I'm gonna go three in order here. So we have gratitude, number 23, which is five, which is change again. So five and 13 is both on change and conclusions are within reach. Having the gratitude, making the change and having the gratitude for the things that you have. Because when you're appreciative of the things you have, you send out a projected energy out into the universal energies that shows that you are happy with what you have which means the universe is gonna bring you more of what you're, what you're liking, what you're appreciating, what you're putting your focus on, in other words. But in other words, if you're not grateful for anything and you're putting negative energy out there for all the things that you do not have, then you're sending negative projections out into the law of attraction universe, and the universe is bringing you back more things that are gonna make you not appreciative of anything because it's gonna be bringing you bad things. See, the law of the universe only brings you what you think about. And if you're thinking about all the hate and all the stuff that you don't have, that's more of what you're gonna get. The universe wants you to be thankful for what you do have, and it's telling you to make that change and go through that death and rebirth because conclusions are right within reach. All right, we have number seven, which is a divinely guided number. Nourishment, nourishing yourself. Right underneath, expect powerful changes, which is self-love giving yourself that self-love and knowing that you're the all creator of your own reality and when you take all that energy up there and you're divinely guided and you know you're divinely guided by your higher self and your guides and everything and you get all your signs and 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 messages from birds and synchronicities and angel numbers and everything and you realize you're not glued to your phone all the time you're not glued to everybody else's energy you start realizing how wonderful life is and if you realize how wonderful life is guess what Life will start giving you things to think that life is more wonderful because that's the way the law of attraction works. And if you do, you can expect powerful changes. <clears throat> the next one, number 40, which is stability, breaks down to a four. Darkness. This is the dark, this is going to be like a, a, a new moon. And we have a new moon in Leo too, which is going to go right underneath the darkness. So confidence is the key. You have to have confidence going through that void of darkness. See, the thing is with manifestations, when you put a manifestation out there, you're like, okay, this is what I wanna create. I I'm, I'm just got done writing a really amazing article on the true purpose of tantric energy. And tantric energy is not like what people think it is. You have to have the confidence, or some people call fake it until you make it, but truly it's the confidence that knowing that your manifestation is coming in this void, in the darkness, when you can't see anything coming. You don't know because you're like, I don't see anything out there. There's nothing out there. Look at that little bunny, he's, 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 he's by himself. There's like, I got nothing. There's crickets out there for me. Nobody's ever coming for me. But you have to have confidence and the faith that it is coming and during that void, chop wood, carry water, as the ancients would say, because it is coming, because the universal energies are bringing it. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer depending on what your manifestation is, but you have to have confidence 
to be able to bring it in and know that it's coming in through that darkness and through that void. Oh, it's a beautiful reading. What do you guys think? If you do, click like, share, bring everybody. Let's just take this one here. Woo, that has got some power in my hands. I was like, wow, zing, boop, 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 boop. Let's see what this is. Oh yes, nine, that's 12, that's balance. Going back to a three, the Holy Trinity. Creation, we were just talking about this. Creation with tantric energy, using tantric energy to create. Did you know that you can, you, you can use tantric energy and build it up, store it in a tantric energy bank in your uh, sacral chakra, which is your th uh, second chakra, build it up. And then when you get ready to manifest, you take that, then you add it to what you're creating and it enhances your manifestations like a skyrocket. So we're gonna go creation underneath full moon in Leo. Don't let your pride get in your way. So if you let pride get in your way, you're not going to be able to create like you want to. And look at the colors in these two cards. Aren't they beautiful? You can't let pride get in your way. Your ego, your fear, the fear of, because honestly, look at the universe. It's limitless. Everything that you can create is limitless. Your minds are limitless energy. The universe is a limitless energy. Things are limitless. You can have whatever you want. It's your limited mind that gets in the way. And I'm here to teach you how to get out of your limited mind on enlightened energy because this channel is for enlightening your consciousness even more than you ever thought possible. I don't care how enlightened you are. Every day I'm enlightened even more. Okay, let's go with one more. This one's like stuck to my hands right here. I like to be the magician, just have a little fun. Oh, purity, yes, what number is that? Number three, so there's two threes, so there's 33, that equals six, that's love. Purity, your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. And that right there's a full moon too. So you need to release all the things all the things that are getting in your way. Taurus is a grounded energy. That's a healing energy. Look at all the healing colors in it. You need to ground in what you want to manifest by taking the steps you need to take and having that death and rebirth, that butterfly. Look at all that pure, that death and rebirth, that purity, that transformation, that snow moon, that purity, that death that death, that, that rebirth. Isn't that beautiful? Because you can't, you can't ground in any new steps and a new vibration with the old limited thinking. You have to clear all that limited thinking and get out of that, that mindset that you can't. And in, you can actually, you can do anything you want. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Beauty, oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Number two, having such balance and beauty. Let's see what the top of the deck is. Resistance, number 25. Number seven goes to a seven, which is being divinely guided. Resistance in the law of attraction is like a sliver in your foot when you're trying to walk. When you're trying to bring in better things in your life, you cannot with a low vibration and resistance to change and resistance to going through changes and resistance to their death and rebirth, you can't stay the same person forever. You have to death and rebirth or you're gonna be a miserable person. All right, let's, this one wants to slide out. What is this one? Action, <laughs> number 15 goes to a six. Isn't that beautiful? Taking the action steps forward. There's another full moon. Looks almost like a super, looks like a super moon. Oh, it is. Oh, it's a, it's a waxing gibbous moon. It's beautiful. Action, taking the action steps forward. So we already talked about taking the, the, pure, the purity, the action steps forward. Awesome. I don't know what you guys are manifesting, but you guys got some good stuff in here. Let's do one more oracle, and then we'll get into some tarot and break it down. I'm going to shuffle these. What is this one? Ooh, I like it. Union. So that's either union with yourself or union with another. So if, you, if you're manifesting a union, then your hard work is paying off. You just have to have the will that it's happening. So we're just gonna put that right there. You know what? I'm being told just to go right through this deck, so I'm just gonna do it. Manifest, look at the colors on that. Isn't that beautiful? 
conclusions are within reach. So if you're manifesting something, your conclusions are within reach. You just have to have gratitude for what you have. Let's go with the next one. Ah, oh, return of spirit. That's return of your, that's, that's, that's returning to your soul. That's beautiful. Isn't that a beautiful card? Right order. You are right on track. Return of spirit. Right under new moon eclipse and nourishment. You're, you're, you're coming back into your soul. That's, a, that's so powerful. In the right order. Right order. Confidence is the key. The darkness, the void, is where you chop wood and carry water and know it's coming and you always take the practical steps forward and you know that you're taking the right steps. Don't let pride get in your way in creation. The violet flame. Oof, that's powerful too. Look at that violet flame. Did you know you can call in on the violet flame and it's an energy that will transmute any, ener any dark energy on this planet? All you gotta do is call it in. Don't let pride get in your way. You have to be pure in the mind. You have to be pure in the mind to be able to totally create what you want. And you can't let all the stuff that you need to release. So you can use and call in on the violet flame. You can search it in your search bar. Search violet flame and how to activate it. You can do violet flame meditations on YouTube. Use the violet flame to clear out all the negative energies. And the last one here take flight. Oh, that's so beautiful. Right under your dreams in a practical plan, which is taking the steps forward, having the pure mind going through the death and rebirth, and then taking flight. Oh, isn't that just the most beautiful reading right there? I'm telling you what, this is just beautiful. Okay, now we're going to turn these around. And we're going to take this one to the bottom of the deck. And move my feet here. Innocence. Innocence is so important because when you think of innocence, you think of a child, right? You think of innocence of a child. And you think of, when you think of a child, you think of imagination. And that's what you need when you are creating and you're manifesting anything, is you have to have an imagination. Because without, without an imagination, you can't create anything. So you have to have that imagination and be able to play like a child because a child's mind is limitless and they know they can do anything until you as a parent or somebody else comes in and tell them they can't. And if they grow up thinking they can, guess what? They can. It's amazing. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, yes. Knowledge. I love this one. It looks like there's, looks like there's like a bee on this guy's head with the this this light coming down through this crown chakra and this guy's head is exploding or something. I mean, it's just like, look at all that knowledge is coming in. Wow, and that totally makes sense for the whole thing. Because once you're innocent, you're op you opening yourself up to a whole new world that you never thought existed. And then guess what? You get all the knowledge. So you don't have to go through all the trials and tribulations and everything that life is going to keep throwing at you because you haven't learned your lesson yet. So yes, I guess you could say eating from the tree of knowledge is very beneficial. Adam and Eve were not ready to eat from the tree of knowledge yet because they had to go through some things. That's why God told them not to eat from the tree of knowledge yet because they weren't prepared yet to understand that there's duality out there. Therefore, they needed time. And when it was time, then God would have said. Otherwise, God said, don't eat from the tree of knowledge. So when they ate from the tree of knowledge, they were opened up psychically to everything going on. Then they're like, oh my gosh, there's so much good, you know, there's so much evil and so much things in the world. And so then what they have to do is they have to go out of the Garden Eden, Garden of Eden and have experiences to be able to learn how to control their energy because when you blow your energy wide open, guess what? You're susceptible to a lot of things. And that's all that Eve and Adam did is they ate from the tree of knowledge before they were ready yet. So that'd be like awakening your senses before you were mentally prepared. It was kind of like when I woke up psychically, I was laying in bed and I had, like this is 528 hertz. I was laying in bed with, um, frequencies in my ears like this with chakras or stones on my chakras and then all of a sudden I seen myself f laying in bed so I was like
going out of body, having an outer body experience, and I looked down at myself and freaked out, and then I've not been able to do it since. <laughs> That's opening yourself up psychically. And I was, and, and because I got scared, it closed up. That's my third eye, it closed up at that time. Because I wasn't prepared yet, mentally, to be able to handle that much, that much openness. Because when you realize that we live in a world where all dimensions of everything exist right here, right now, right next to you. And if you understood that there are things around you going nonstop, 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 plus things around you that would freak you the F out, you'd have a heart attack and die. So what your frequency does is it adjusts up and down. And then if you want to see things like that, then you can focus on it because what you think about, you bring about. That's why certain people will see certain things like, UFOs or dragons or fairies or, you know, whatever. They do exist on another frequency. It's like taking a radio dial and turning it up and down. You dial in your frequency depending on what you want to focus on. That's why if you want to focus on demons and entities and lower vibrational things, you can bring them in. You can. Don't think you can't because you can. You do it subconsciously and it's not fun when you get them attached to you. That's why people need to understand this kind of stuff. You, you, everything exists on a plane right now, just different dimensions. And if you were able to see all those dimensions, you, you couldn't do anything because they're all going at the same time. So you are only able to see the one dimension that you're in until your mind can handle a little bit more of a reality. And then it opens you up a little bit more without getting over too over stimulated in our brains right here and blow some minds. But that's what I like to do here on Enlightened Energy is open up your minds. Give me some thumbs ups and some likes if you like this, guys. All right, let's do some... I got two tarot, two tarot decks here. And I combined in them, so I'm going to shuffle them as best I can because they're really thick. And then we're going to close this up. Now this one fell out. And this one wants to come out. The Eight of Wands. So that is communication, forward communication, text, emails, calls, action, everything forward movement. And it looks good because when you talk in union and conclusions are within reach, that's pretty darn good. I picked this upside down, so I'm going to take it Five of Pentacles upside down, which is perfect because if you're manifesting getting out of the gutter, <laughs> It looks like you're doing it. I'm just gonna cut this deck right here. I think we should take that because that right there is the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the best card in the deck for happiness and then returning to spirit, nourishment, and powerful eclipse. You can't get better than the Ten of Cups right there. How about this, the Hierophant? That right there is either a marriage for somebody or everything in the right order that goes right underneath confidence is the key in right order so this is taken as uh, what would you call it rituals things that need to be done in, in certain steps right order and underneath you got the wheel of fortune which is just perfect for this reading because when you're talking the violet flame See, I went to move this card straight and this one fell off and this one. So I've, I've been told not to use this one, but to use the next one. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here, right underneath the Violet Flame. So using the Violet Flame to get rid of all the negative energy in your life is going to bring newness into your life and take that wheel and turn it. You see Jupiter is back there. Jupiter brings blessings, right? So if you, you can get on there just type in Violet Flame Meditation, listen to it before you go to sleep. As you're falling asleep is the best way to do it. A Violet Flame Meditation, it'll do everything for you. It'll get that wheel spinning in the right direction and start bringing your blessings. And they want me to bring this one instead, which is the Four of Wands, which is Union. And you have Take the Practical Steps, Take Flight, Purity, and then you have Coming Together, Union. And that's either with Soul Tribe, that looks like Soul Tribe or People. So I think that's about it. 
Oh, they're saying one more. Okay. We're gonna do, we're gonna go through the deck and see what it is. Ah, uh, that's, that's what I thought. The Two of Swords. The Two of Swords is kind of like a decision. You have to make that decision. You have to make it. But you have to make it with an unblocked heart chakra because your heart chakra is right here. And normally the Two of Swords is across her heart. But this Two of Swords I really like because she's got it behind her waist, right? She's got red on, which is a grounded, really grounded, solid energy. So she's grounded in her, in her actions. She's got spirit right behind her because in my previous videos, you, you realize that they are guides and our angels our energy and around the animal is an auric field aura it's like we have an aura around us animals have an aura too which is a magnetic energy spirit is energy spirit comes in and infuses into the energy of the animals and then comes in and gives us signs that we can see or in this part I will, I'd like to refer it to as spirit is behind her protecting her and backing her up on all of her decisions she's grounded She's got swords or air. She's got her candles, so she got the flame. So she's got fire. She's got fire, she's got air. She's grounded in her thoughts. She's just trying to figure out emotionally what she wants to do, because she, I'm looking for the water. I don't see any yet. So right there, I'm gonna put that right on top. You have to make the choice. You have to make the choice. Let's see. Which one was it? That one. Because if you make the choice, celebration will be yours, guaranteed. But you got you gotta just make it confidently. Get out of your pride and ego. Step into your north node. Know what's gonna happen. Make the choice. Stay positive in your mindset. Know all the blessings are coming. Use the violet flame to help you. The easiest way to do it is just do the violet flame meditation on YouTube. <sighs> Super easy. And then take flight because celebration is yours. And if you'd like to claim this reading, just click like, share, say, this is my reading. Because this is for the whole collective, everybody. All you got to do is claim it. Have a great day, folks. God bless.